Hi, Nick here, and today I'm going to be doing a demo and review of the Boss 59 Fender Bassman pedal. So this is actually a pretty cool pedal. It's not too expensive new, and because it's sort of a less popular pedal compared to, say, the Blues Driver, you can often find these used for a pretty good deal, which is how I found mine in the local guitar shop. This pedal is an amp in the box. It's meant to emulate the sound of a vintage Fender amp, in this case the 59 Bassman. Boss also came out with, uh, I believe, a 65 Deluxe Reverb and just a plain reverb pedal. And to me, I've actually tried the other two units. Um, I kind of like this one the best. I think it does a great job for what it is, which is basically uh, something that can fatten up your tone you can use it as a clean boost and a mild overdrive and I think those are really the strengths of the pedal. Now it's not going to make you sound exactly like you're playing through a 1959 Fender Bassman amp. I don't think that's really the purpose but it does give you some of that vintage Fender character and the mild overdrive especially has kind of a tweed sound to it. This pedal is um, pretty versatile in terms of the tone shaping options. Of course you have six knobs here. Now you can see there's four knobs but two of them there are there's nested knobs, right? So you have um, a presence, a mid control, you have bass, treble, and then you have a gain and level control. In addition, and this is kind of a cool feature too, I don't know, it's kind of hard to read, but you can see there are actually two inputs for the pedal, a regular input and a bright input, just like with the old Bassman amps. So this, between the two inputs and all the tone knobs, gives you quite a few options uh, tone-wise. You can cut the trebles and crank the mids, you can uh, crank the trebles up and have it sound real bright. There gives you a few more things you can do um, in addition to just having like one tone knob as you do on a pedal like the Boss Blues Driver. And I guess I'll just lay it out right now. I think this is kind of a cool pedal in the Blues Driver range of uh, sounds, but it has less gain and a bit more tonal options. So I kind of come to think of this as sort of an alternative to the blues driver and in terms of uses um, you can think of it that way as well. Some people like to pair a blues driver with a tube screamer pedal and I think you could pair this pedal, the Bassman, with a tube screamer as well. In fact I've done that. I've got a Electro Harmonics East River Drive which is sort of their tube screamer and I ran this in front of that basically to use as a boost and have a little bit of that grit sound that you get from this pedal and I think that sounds pretty good. Okay so obviously sound is always the most important thing with the pedal but cosmetics are uh, important to some people and I admit I like it when a pedal looks cool as well. A lot of people wonder about this um, because it has this finish on it that's sort of supposed to make it look like a tweed amp. People wonder is it plastic? Is it metal? It actually is metal like the other Boss pedals, but it, it does have that um, sort of textured uh, finish on it, which makes it look like a tweed amp, or it's supposed to. It doesn't really look like one. Uh, another feature that's supposed to emulate the bass man is this reflective mirror um, panel with the labels for the controls on it, which is kind of cool, but there is a downside to it. If you're on a dark stage, and then you have maybe like a stage light shining on it, you can see that it might make the controls hard to read if you're just getting the glare or the reflection from that mirrored surface. So this pedal is not super complicated. It does have six knobs, which I admit is more than some other pedals do, but um, just you know, take some time to learn the controls if you're going to fiddle with it when you're on stage um, using this thing. But again, it's not too hard to use. And I think for the most part, it looks pretty cool. I guess I'll give it like a B or a B plus maybe for looks. But um, 
the mirrored control panel is something that might be an issue for some people. So anyway, there's that. Okay, so that's the Boss 59 Bassman pedal. It's a pretty cool pedal that gives you some vintage Fender vibe. You can use it to fatten up your tone. You can use it as a clean boost. You can use it for a mild overdrive. It's not going to make you sound exactly like you're playing through a 59 Bassman amp, but it does give you some good uh, vintage Fender tones in the tweed department. This is a great pedal if you like classic rock sounds. It does a little bit of 70s Clapton, a little bit of Stevie Ray Vaughan and John Mayer. So if you like that kind of thing, this would be a cool pedal to check out. It also plays great with other pedals. You might try it uh, paired with a Tube Screamer. If you've tried a Blues Driver and didn't quite like that, this might be another pedal to check out because it's sort of like a milder, mellower Blues Driver. It's a little bit smoother and you have a lot more tone shaping options. So that concludes part one where we've looked at the features of this pedal. In part two, we're going to plug it in twist the knobs, and see what kind of sounds we can get out of it. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. In terms of tone, I like to leave the presence and the bass somewhere between 11 and 1 o'clock. Um, usually I like to have the bass at about 1 to kind of fatten it up a little bit. Usually I like to cut the treble to like 11. And then what you can do is you can take this mid and boost it even all the way. That sounds really cool. Or you can leave the mid at like 11 and then maybe boost the treble a little bit. So I kind of like the gain between 10 and 3 o'clock and the level probably between like 10 and 1 o'clock. Now if you turn the gain down to maybe like 9 or 10 o'clock and then you crank the level to like 1 or 2 o'clock, that's a good clean boost. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.